Are women in the public eye allowed to age gracefully? Five women, all on-air journalists at a local New York City cable news channel, say the answer is no. They claim their bosses have stamped an expiration date on them, despite their years of experience. Now, they're suing. I started at New York One in 1992. I'm in my 25th year. I have been at New York One for almost 23 years now. I started at New York One as an intern. I'm one of your veteran anchors. These are five of the most recognizable faces in all of New York City. Five longtime anchor women at New York One, a local news institution. Added up, their time at the station totals more than 100 years. But now, each of them says they're slowly becoming invisible, pushed aside to make room for younger versions. Systematically, all of the jobs that I had, all of the slots um, started to disappear. I was up to maybe 50-something weekday um, anchor shifts in, in the course of a year. This year, I'm down to zero. Zero. I think for me, it began about a year after I had my second child. I was ready to come back full time, but uh, freelancers were hired instead to fill those hours that I might have been able to work. I saw younger employees being given the very roles that I was asking for. The women say in the past two years, their airtime has been cut, they stopped appearing in promotional ads and campaigns, and their opportunities have dried up. Now they're suing the network's parent company, Charter Communications, for gender and age discrimination. It doesn't make sense that you would replace somebody who's got gravitas and experience over many years, who has achieved a reputation that uh, I think the community appreciates. We're not talking about not having opportunities for other younger women or men, but those opportunities shouldn't come at the expense of our careers. You just want to feel like they're not just waiting for your contract to expire so they can get rid of you. We'd like to think that anyone who's in opposition to what we have done would realize that one day very soon it may come down to them having to decide, what are you going to do? Are you going to speak up? In response to their lawsuit, Charter Communications issued this statement refuting their claims. We take these allegations seriously, and as we complete our thorough review, we have not found any merit to them. New York One is a respectful and fair workplace, and we're committed to providing a work environment in which all our employees are valued and empowered. We are proud that at New York One, 57% of our on-air talent are women, 55% of our on-air talent are over the age of 40, and 25% of our on-air talent are women over 40. The statistics that they gave to you actually are very misleading. The point is not how many women there are versus men. The point is what type of opportunities are the women getting? How much airtime are they getting? What we're claiming is that our five clients, because of their gender and because of their age, have been treated differently than older men and younger women. New York One is not without senior women in prominent slots on the air. According to management, their daily lineup includes 14 women over the age of 40. Our business of TV news is famously fickle. People are there one day and they're gone the next. What's your evidence that this is based on age rather than cheaper talent, mm -hmm. rather than ratings, rather than research and focus groups? Well, the, the fact that most of the people who uh, have taken those slots that we used to have are a lot younger a lot younger and a lot less experienced. The last two years, they created all kinds of new anchor slots. Everything that's created are for others, and the others happen to be men and younger women. If somebody said, OK, well, you can have an online presence, or OK, you can do a podcast, absolutely. you're open absolutely. to all of those things. We have shut even... out of all the new opportunities. And promos. They won't even put us in a promo. Yes, We've pitched ideas. ideas to the department that is responsible for hashing out these ideas and making them happen. They've not been offered to us. I understand some people, when they get older, they slow down, they lose energy, they, you know, the enthusiasm isn't there. That is not true of us. What do you want? What will satisfy each of the five of you? You've raised awareness, and now what? We want to change the game. We want to change it so that women are valued, whether they're 40, 50, or 60, or 70. 
I think it would just be to be given the same opportunities that are being given to younger women. Or perhaps and be men. given opportunities that reflect the years of experience that you have. What if they offered you all money? We'd rather have our careers. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't want to just take a check and walk away. No, we want to work. You know, no, you know, we you, love you, what we do. We love to tell stories. It's what we've done for this, almost 30 years. And I think the cynical have immediately leapt to that conclusion. Um, there's a narrative even going around the workplace. Um, it's understandable. We've all covered stories where that becomes a thread of the story. It's not a thread in our story. It's I was asked by someone, why don't you look for a new job? I said, because I want this job. I love this job. Charter Communications also tells CNN in a statement, quote, in the last few years, we've made a point at Spectrum Networks to start promoting our on-air personalities because we believe in their talent and we know that viewers are loyal to certain individuals. As is typical with any network, we have emphasized the most popular programming, our mornings on one show. Roma, who is an anchor, has been promoted regularly in the last few years, both in a solo ad and in other forms of advertising as well. The other four women are not regular anchors. All right, thanks so much for watching New Day. We should also note that, new, uh, that CNN is, sorry, New York One is a CNN affiliate.